This time of year, we are told to make New Year's resolutions, to make promises to ourselves, and that this year will be the year that we become better, that we will eat less dessert and eat more vegetables, that we will sit on the couch less and exercise more, that we will worry less and meditate more. But friends, after the year that we just lived through, it may be difficult to look forward when we're still coping with the thousands of little cuts of 2020 and the sweeping tidal waves that roared over us. So as we stand on the threshold of a new year, let us consider making new promises. May we promise to say thank you for the little things and for those big things every day. May we promise not to get too comfortable or too righteous. May we let in enough pain to stay fired up, committed to our dream of expanding that beloved community, the dream of the emerging world, where our liberation is tied up with everyone else. May we promise to let the fires burn away the old, crusty obstacles and excuses and make space for new dreams. May we notice the light blazing with this new day. May we have the courage to fan the fires of hope following those rising sparks into the great unknown. Come, let us worship together. So to all of the children and the adults alike, I, I want you to try to use your imagination right now. First of all, see this? This is you. Can anybody tell, tell me what this looks like? What am I holding? It looks like a block. A block? Well, it may be a block. It's a special kind of block that's actually a sponge. So what I'm going to... What was that? You. It's, it's you. That's right. So I am going to take you, and I'm going to place you right here, okay? And now I want you to imagine that it is one day last year in 2020. Maybe it's a Tuesday. And here you are. You're, you know, walking around. You're doing your thing. And over here, we have all kinds of feelings. So maybe you woke up that day, and maybe you had a nice breakfast with your family. And so... Feelings of happiness washed right over you. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then maybe, you know, you went to school, but maybe school for you was on a computer. So maybe after a couple hours of staring at a screen, you got a little frustrated. So feelings of frustration washed all over you. Well, then, let's say maybe after school, uh, you and your sister started arguing because one of you wanted to play shoots and ladders and the other wanted to play video games, and you got really angry. So at that time, your anger washed all over you. Well, so let's say that passed, and now it's dinner time, and you got some really bad news. You heard that your grandpa is sick, and it made you really sad. So those feelings of sadness washed over you. Well, now it's time for bed, and here you are. And you are just filled with all kinds of feelings. Well, you're not really sure, because you don't see any feelings. You don't see them dripping out. So you're not really sure that they're there. So you go to bed, and there you are. And you're just filled 
and maybe you don't sleep so well that night, and you wake up in the morning, and now for breakfast, maybe you kind of get a little mad because your toast is burned. And maybe now you have these feelings that you're not sure where they're coming from, but they keep washing over you, and they keep filling you up. And you're frustrated at your teacher because she didn't call on you in the Zoom chat room. And your sister's really bothering you today. And it just keeps filling up and filling up and filling up. And now, oh my goodness, look at you. You are just dripping feelings. Can you see that? So does anybody have an idea what you could do so you weren't so filled with all of those feelings? Try to be kind. Try to be Try kind. To argue with your brother. <laughs> be good to your brother. Be nice. And maybe let a little bit of those feelings out. Okay, good. Anyone else have an idea? Squeeze. I couldn't hear you. Squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> Squeeze maybe some of those feelings that maybe give someone a hug. And let some of those feelings come out then, sure. What's something else you could do? Go for a walk. Ooh, go for a walk. That's a good one. Okay, some more is coming out. Any other ideas? I think I hear someone trying to talk. Help your grandma feel better. Ooh, help your grandma feel better. That might make you feel better too, don't you think? What are some other ways that you might release some of these feelings? Well, there's lots of things you could do. Maybe you like listening to music or singing. That might help. Maybe you could paint a picture. I don't know if you like to do that. Sometimes that helps me feel better. And maybe you could talk to those people who maybe you hurt, your, you hurt their feelings or maybe they hurt your feelings. For me, that always helps. And now if you notice, you are much, much lighter. It's much less heavy and it's much airier. And now maybe you can go back to your next day. And if you notice, does anybody, I don't know if you can see at home, but I just put that in that bowl where there was all these extra feelings. And since you're, you're a little lighter now, those feelings you can feel. And now maybe you can go for another walk and release some of them. Maybe you can talk to someone and release some of those feelings. So that when you go to bed that night, maybe you have a really good night's sleep. Because for everyone, all of those feelings that you're having are real. And if we pretend that they're not there and we try to go about our day and try to go to bed, sometimes they're still stuck there. So it's an important thing to remember that we're a lot like this sponge. We can only take in more things when we release some of what's we're holding on to. Well, now as we begin our burning bowl ritual, I would ask that now you take out those few pieces of paper, a pencil or something to write with. Perhaps you have a candle nearby if you would like to have one. And in a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to Think about something from this past year that you're ready to let go of. Something that maybe is holding you back. Something that you want to leave behind. And when you're so moved, I would invite you in a few words to write that down on that piece of paper. And in a few minutes here in the sanctuary, for those who would like to share their thoughts, 
I will write that down on a scrap of paper here and burn those away here in the sanctuary. The fire we release, self-neglect. We release to the fire inattention and distraction. We release to the fire fear, inaction, and judgment. We release to the fire frustration. We release to the fire being frustrated with those who see things differently. We release to the fire feelings of anger that things will never come back to the way they were. We release to the fire toxic relationships. And for all those feelings, all of those things that we do want to release, but perhaps are too tender to speak aloud, we release everything that is unspoken. You have all released here this morning, be forever gone from your spirit and cease to trouble you anymore. May you be relieved and renewed, ever mindful that love is always, always more powerful than fear. And that compassion is the key to freedom. From resentments. Amen.